Hi, and welcome back to another Dungeon Gamers One Shots. Hey. Hey. Um, <laughs> this is where we all play Dungeons and Dragons together, and we do it in one single session. So if you've never played Dungeons and Dragons before, feel free to start here. Uh, we're going to have a single story, start, middle, and end. Uh, let's jump straight in. Our special guest today is none other than our good friend, Josh from oh, Josh Akid. Hey. Hello. 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 I've never Welcome. played any of this before, so. <gasps> it's D&D cherry popping time, guys. Woo! Woo. It's D&D. <laughs> <laughs> How vulgar. Um, so, so, yeah, well, welcome, mate. And um, yeah, we're going to dive straight in with a one shot that I've put together on theme. This is <laughs> The Lost Sword of Charitai Shope. Let us begin. <laughs> You are a ragtag group of adventurers who have come together for one common goal, to explore the depths of treacherous dungeons in search of treasure and fame. What's the name of your group and who are you? We all know each other. Well, we tried to start by introducing yourself. Yeah. Who yeah. are you? you? Oh, me? Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, you start. Uh, my name is Rames. Rames Crystal Cusa. <laughs> that's my <laughs> Hi, full name. Hi, 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 Ray. Hi. Um, that's my full name. I am a half elf fighter with a gladiator slash entertainer background. I'll go next. So my name is Morn. <laughs> Hi, Morn. Uh, Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a bard and a, I'm a half elf and I'm actually Rame's brother. Yeah. Younger brother. Oh. <laughs> oh. I am a Aspera. Last name Gus. Uh, yeah, I'm a uh, I'm an entertainer as well. That's how mm. we actually know each other. Yeah. We both think we're the talent. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm actually, I'm a rogue, really, and I am a, a bronze dragon. Am I a dragonborn? Ooh. Mm. That means. Nice. Yes. Ooh. You look like a big lizard man. That's what it means. I did not choose <laughs> such a <laughs> look. Sorry. <laughs> 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 you do, yeah. So, my name is Gail Yassan, and I'm a half-orc druid. I spent my childhood living on the streets, roaming homeless, after receiving, like, a horrible beating from a noble, I decided to renounce um, all modern civilization and become a druid of nature. Right, well, with okay. the introductions um, well underway. Oh, what was the name of this troop then? Have we, have we oh. thought about it? The Troopers. The, it's the Super Troopers. Yep. Whip Stallions. Oh. The Whip Stallions. So, the Whip Stallions. This, uh, this dungeon delving group of ragtag heroes, um, you find yourselves under the employ of one Lord Matthias Q. Matthias, <gasps> a local nobleman who describes himself as a collector and purveyor of rare and magical curios. Uh, you have been issued a promissory note for no less than 1,000 gold pieces. Ooh. Nice, that's what I like. Upon successful completion, you have been tasked with the retrieval of the fabled lost sword of Sir Charitai Shope. A paladin of ancient renown whose final resting place was a long forgotten mystery until last Tuesday when it was stumbled on by a local dog walker. Mm. <laughs> so our adventure begins in earnest. At the entrance to this long lost tomb, far north of the reasonable civilization, you have been hired to go on this and you've made your way to the tomb. But as you make your way into the graveyard, you and it's, it's dark, it's dusk, the moon's coming out, and as you start creeping across the graveyard, you know, his hands start popping out of the graves. Oh, no. oh my god. In true um, Dawn of the Dead fashion. <laughs> shambling graveyard, we're shambling! Ah. It's zoblins! It's it's zombies! It's zombie goblins! <laughs> Roll initiative! <laughs> well, I'm a fighter, gladiator, slash entertainer. Um, <laughs> slash Irish. Shall I just. Slash Irish. <laughs> slash whatever. Slash Dreamweaver. Um, I've got a long sword. Maybe I could just go and, and start hacking at them. Like, running first. I've got a big armor class. I could be like. Should we move towards the door? And let these guys start moving. So you run up to them and you, and you try and taunt them as well, a like, group? I, I run to the side and I go, hey, over here. Yeah. Come on. Oh, okay, okay. You idiots. Okay, roll, and they're like, roll uh, an intimidation check. And that's a d20. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a five. And what did you, what's your, what's your modifier? Zero. Well, luckily enough, they rolled a six and they've got a minus three charisma. Um, as a saving yes. throw, so uh, it was a pretty, it worked pretty well. They, they've all focused their attention straight on you because you're the loudest thing. You've run at them, yeah. Uh, but now you're within ten feet of them to the one side of the path, 
and all four zombies. Turn and look to you. <laughs> so, Shannon, right, yes. I'll, I'll allow you. Well done. Well, Thank well played. Um, I'll leave you an inspiration point for that. Well done. Oh, oh my God. God. Straight oh, off the bat. Shit. Straight off the bat, yeah. Um, One. I'm going to. Uh, would you, are you making an attack with this? Um, can I? You can make you uh, can attack the first zombie that's nearest you. The, the nearest one, I'm just going to hack it with the, the. Should I go hand axe or long sword? Did you say you ran in with your long sword? Yeah, I'll do it with the long sword. Okay, so you're already running in with your long sword. So you you lift your long sword high above your head. We're yeah. Gonna shout with a war cry. Make an attack. Oh God. What have you rolled? A one. This is not going to go well. A one. Oh. That is not it's good. It's like no. a tank is supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. Tanking. I've never. I don't think I've ever rolled a one. A natural <laughs> one. Well, I'm afraid I can't go against the rules of a natural one. A natural one is the lowest thing you can roll out of a d20. So, uh, as you lift up this, you've done a great job getting them all to turn to you. And as you lift up the sword to attack the first one, uh, your heel slips on uh, the tuft of ground that is uh, right by the gravel and it slips out and you lose your balance and that zombie although it can't smile it hasn't got any lips it's uh it's, it's sort of <laughs> whatever's left in the tenor of his face pulls back and it makes an attack at you on the floor with advantage <laughs> oh and it hits you oh no and it does <laughs> four damage it Four. lands on top of you and starts just sort of, <laughs> but you, you know, it's trying to find a weak spot in your armor. Next, it's it's um, Morn, the half elf bard. Come on, brother. Morn, oh, brilliant! <laughs> Save me, brother. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll be like, get off my sister, you bastard! <laughs> right, I've got a rapier, so I'm just gonna go unhand my sister. Do a Zorro, Z through their chest. Put an M. On the Put one. An M, yeah. Bottom for more. For more. On the one that's um, <laughs> well, it's a Zorro on, on the, the side, isn't it, really? Yeah. yeah, slice out. He's put an M in his back. Okay, cool. MJ. Thank you, brother. <laughs> MJ. Roll to attack. Okay. Roll to hit. Cool. Six plus two, eight. Yep, good work. Yes, come on, you boy. You slice its back and it kind of groans as it as it rolls to one side and falls off um, and falls off your God. sister. Thank you. You're welcome. And it lies You're motionless. <laughs> Brilliant. Is he dead? Lies motionless. Um, next die. up, Zombie Not 2 dead. was attacking, was focused entirely on your sister, Rain, but it sees that you're engaged there and it kind of... It's <laughs> 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 sort of Jesus. weird groaning mechanism. It's like a robot. Heads up the path towards, <laughs> the, two, towards the two others who are stood in the moonlight going, oh, it's just really happening, it's just really happening. <laughs> it makes its way up and it starts to, and it lunges for the closer of the two, which happens to be, um, asparagus. Asparagus. Oh, good God. <laughs> Come on, this is your time. This is your time. 13. <laughs> plus <laughs> 3. So it rolls 16. It does, it's a made attack, which is called Slam. And it too does. And you're dead, so Can thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> it, it only does 2 damage, though. Oh, thank God. Okay. Minor. So you're on 8 now. Yeah. Um, that was zombie, zombie two. Next two? up is Gel Yasan, the druid, who who has who sees in front of him a zombie lurching on his friend, Asparagus. He sees um, another, his other friend, Rames Crystal Kuzo, who's just been saved by her brother. Uh, there are three zombies down there and one in front of you. What are you going to do? Because mm, I'm thinking of running down to the group and using Thunder Wave. Oh, Thunder. Right, roll two d eight. Four. Mm -hmm. Three. Four and three, nice, okay. They also, Thunder Wave pushes them 10 feet away. Bye, oh, right. And then, as a bonus action, I'd like to use a uh, healing word. You look at her, you don't have to touch her in any way because it's a distance spell used as a bonus action, healing word. You're able to send your energy across the uh, 10 or so feet expanse to Rames on the floor. Roll 1d4 and add your spellcasting modifier, which one is wisdom. Four. Two plus a one. Three. three hit points are transferred three back into Reigns. Thank you, Great. Gail. Right, now we finally get to Asparagus. Asparagus who has, um, he's been left. Uh, he, <laughs> Gail uh, looked at him and, and ran past it, but you've got a zombie yeah, right <laughs> that's, that's yeah. going for you. It's, 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 it's trying to find that gap in your uh, in your leather armor. Well, I feel like I've just got to defend myself. I've got to get a dagger on this. Off across this thing's head, mm. pretty much. Got yeah. to decapitate it and see if that even stops it. You want to start sawing away at its neck, yeah? Yeah, I think I that'd mean, be really funny. Zombie to kind of, movie, it's pretty good, isn't you know? it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Just keep going until it just pops off. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Um, zombies are very easy to hit. They're slow, they're shambling Sweet. and rambling. Uh, so you do, you grab a tuft of its hair, some of it comes out and a bit of its skin actually lifts from its scalp oh. uh, and a kind of translucent Ooh. goo um, sort of pours out of the wound. It's not just soaring away and it barely even notices. It's still going rah, 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 even as it's trying to bite at you. Uh, roll damage. Okay, so it's this one, right? As in, it's a, it's a, a 1d4 yeah. plus 2. So 3, 5. 5, great. With um, 4 and then five thrusts of this dagger, you manage to sever its head entirely and its body slumps to the floor and you're left holding that. And as you're holding it, it kind of for a moment, like a headless chicken kind of goes <laughs> before its eyes glaze over. Right, everyone, yeah. <laughs> you've got one zombie completely decapitated. It's Woo! great. But the zombie that had a Zorro M cut into it, it starts to reanimate. Um, it, uh, zombies don't die easily, and it's had enough time to reassess its wounds. And it shrugs them off, and it stands back up to its feet. Right, killing undead ain't easy. We've got to chop their heads off. Yeah. As that Good happens, work. you that you hear um, a voice calling you from twenty feet away at the mausoleum. <gasps> Quick, get inside now! Now! <gasps> you look up and you see a voice from the door. You want to live? Huh? Yeah, Come on, yeah. move! We're going oh, with him, we're going with him. We're going, we're going, we're going. Push the zombie out of the way. Here we go. <laughs> he just falls over <laughs> and, and we run. You all look up and you realise when you look up at this character in this door, it's this sort of shadowy faced woman. She's not looking at you. She's not even really looking at you. She looks beyond you because at the four gates of the graveyard, you see a massive shadow loom up of a 10 foot tall spectacle, just completely in shadow but then you hear it and smell it as it roars and lifts up a giant morning star what? and oh steps God. into the moonlight and you see an ogre zombie and it bends down like a charging bull and rushes towards you. Get inside now, man! Just go! <laughs> go, 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 go okay, I, I need you all to roll to disengage oh, and run. No. 20? I need you all to roll uh, dexterity saving throws. What's that, Four. Jack? Plus one. This is a plus two. Shit. Right? Yep. Seventeen. Oh, eighteen. <laughs> we're, we're in, brother. Yeah. <laughs> the only person, however, who um, fails to notice before it's mm, too late is our good friend <laughs> and uh -oh. half orc, so large in their self, uh, in their own self, uh, becomes the victim of a flying half a chunk of gravestone that comes <laughs> flying through the air as a projectile. Bye. <laughs> Nice having you. <laughs> and, it, and it bounces off your back, I'm afraid, doing four damage, Oof. bludgeoning damage. So you have okay. a cracked, massive bludgeoning stone that lands on you as, you, as you're running back towards the, uh, the opening. But aside from that, you all grab Gel as he runs in, and uh, you've got this stranger who's calling you in, come on, move, move, move! You all pile in, and Gel, you have to like reallocate your shoulder as it's dislocated out of its socket. Nice. Ooh. You all fly into <laughs> the mausoleum's Atrium. It takes all of your combined strengths together as you grab hold of this massive stone slab and force it back in as you look out and you see this in the moonlight, this giant tusked monster that's, it doesn't shamble like an ordinary zombie. It is in full charge. It's got a singular focus and that is to get through this door. And as you push this slab into place, it slots down into a groove in the floor. And the millisecond after it lands in, you hear a ginormous thud on the outside. Um, it seems you're safe for now. Oh, oh, God. Okay. Thank you for saving us, Thanks. stranger. Stranger. <laughs> stranger. Yeah. Who, so yeah, we need to be careful here. You find yourself in what would be described as an unremarkable mausoleum. Spacious marble walls make up the pentagonal room. Pentagonal. With shadowy ornate sculptures glowering from the high walls above old cracked sarcophaguses or sarcophagi, unremarkable in every way save for the central spectacle. A spiral staircase wraps intricately and tightly around the circumference of this monolith, and at its top, an armoured arm <gasps> protrudes. Oh, what is it? Wow. Wow. The as sword. If the owner, the sword. As if the owner it's a sword of... had been buried in the rock of itself, but defied its hold in, once, in, a, in one final act of righteous indignation. In its gauntleted grasp, a glimmering sword I thought it would be bigger. Look <laughs> 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 how little it is. <laughs> yeah, this is its full size. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's exactly it. 
I have such a right eye show, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, is this within reach, is it? You said it's up above, right? This is on a 20 foot mound with a spiral stair that runs around the, at the center of this mausoleum. The mausoleum is pretty dank, dusty. So what are you all doing here? <laughs> We've oh, got to. I was oh. gonna leave you to go. I was gonna leave you to be done, but when I saw that ogre. Do you ogre live zombies. here? Is this oh, your house? It's not my house, this is a mausoleum. What's the matter with you? Oh, sorry. Do you live nearby? Don't or... ask stupid questions. <laughs> I expect I'm here for the same reasons you are. Mafias, Q Mafias ring a bell? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. I mean, I've taken on some zombies to get in here myself, but I've never known anyone to take on one of those ogre ones. We're lucky we've got that stone in place. I suggest we work together if we're ever going to get out of here. Mm. You're quite manly for okay. a woman. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you thrips the name. I'll yeah, get I'm a, a, I'm, I'll a I'm a grave robber. Me and my crew are, were hired by this Mathias Q Mathias to how much you find some you? old rust, rusty crap for this collection. How much, how yeah, much? how much is he paying you, Matthias Q. Right. Matthias? I don't talk about funds up front with strangers, all right? I suggest we work together and we can split the profits. How's that work? Whoa, 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 Look, this Who? Matthias Q. Matthias, he's all, I've only lost half my crew. I'm happy to Where have split they gone? the share. Well, did you not see the yoga zombie out the front? Oh, uh, uh, sorry. I know we're pressed for time, but can we talk? Yeah, we just need to Without. tea out. Hang on, uh, Arisha. <laughs> I'll be over there. Just let me know what you think, all right? Look, Come this on. rich old bastard's playing us against each other. He's probably just trying to hedge his bets, all right? That's all I'm saying. That is... So I'll get you, takes point, a step then. away right. and goes, leads up against the sarcophagus and starts picking her nails with a sharp dagger. Can we trust Sexy. our Gesha Thrip? Well, we don't know. No, no, I don't think so, not really. If you're not going to talk about cash, you're not really... Uh, but wait a minute, wait a minute. Person. She did just say this, though. She did. She saved us. I think it's because it's about a pentagon. They need five. You need five of five people to open it up. And yeah. she's like, and You're all of a sudden so she's, right. she's like, "There's four guys. What are we going to get going?" Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, so mm. we can't really trust her because she just needs us, but we also need her in response. So we just like, go play. along with it, but go constantly wink at each other as if we don't. Because don't... I trust nobody I come across. Yeah. Especially peasant. Yeah. Oh, don't I know it? Nice. Don't I know it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've seen my hatred every town we ever enter. <laughs> yeah. Okay, whip okay. stallions together. Whips. Whip oh. stallions. Hey, is that a yes? Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> yes, so, I've got to tell you, I mean, you know, look, I've worked with some, some strange people before, but this group of, uh, you, you look like a trustworthy group. Trust far as I can throw you anyway. <laughs> I've lost half my crew trying to get in here. But I suggest we team up and we can split the profits. I'm only going to take my share, 20% of the final cut. How's that? Yeah, all right. I mean, that is... Yeah, yeah it's fair. Right. It's, it's fair. We can split your shape on it, yet. Yeah. Grabs your hand. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, I've tried to go up with that, that circle, that, that spiral staircase up the mound in the middle. I know, I'm looking up there, but actually it's a It's right there. <laughs> it's, the, it's the strangest thing. I've climbed till I'm blue in the face. I can't get to the top. Maybe one of you will have better luck. <gasps> Why can't you get to the what? top? Just the staircase. It's the longest staircase I've ever been on in my life, I tell you. But we can so see the top. So you get tired and you walk back down. Tell you what, smart <laughs> Why don't you go and have a try? So yeah, it's go magic. On, she leans, she leans yeah. up against one thing, gets out the dagger again, and starts going, and then starts starts uh, looking looking you up and down, Rames. Um, she's got an eye for the uh, for the lady high elves, high elves, half elves. Oh, can right. I <laughs> can I survey the area? See if there's anything that hints to this pentagonal. Puzzle. Good shout, man. Okay, so roll an investigation check. Yep. Actually, roll a uh, perception check. Okay. 17 plus one. 18, that's pretty good to beat that, that check. So, yeah, I'll give that to you. So, um, first things you notice is on the opposite side, at uh, the very opposite point, you see a, a, a shambling um, sort of middle aged man who's uh, holding a book under one hand and a uh, candlelight in the other, and he's looking into an old tomb. Thank you.